The house performance curve generator can help with those opportunities where the temperature, current, or voltage may not be of a standard level and may affect the system's overall performance. To optimize the system performance, it is important to know how the motor performance might change with a variation in any of these parameters. The first step is to register and log in. On this screen, you will see the area to input your motor part number and parameters on the left. On the right side, you also have the ability to save your selections for later recall, share your selection with customers and colleagues, or to print your selections to different media. To get started, we can name our axis. You will need to know which motor and drive combination for which you would like to generate a curve. For this example, we are selecting the AKM2G-23D with Smart Feedback. We select the motor model AKM2G. The frame, stack, and winding will be set for the 23D. The amplifier voltage will be 240 volts AC. At this time, the current will be left at the default and adjusted later. The ambient temperature will be left at 40 degrees C. The feedback will be set to SFD3, Smart Feedback Device, Gen 3. It should be noted that voltage, temperature, and feedback selection can have an effect on the motor performance, so it is important to align those with your application requirements. If your application requires one of the options, either brake or shaft seal, that option can be selected now. Brake and shaft seal options can result in derated performance, so it's important to include them if required by your application. At this time, the drive peak current will be left at the default and adjusted later. The default drive peak current is based on the peak current rating of the motor windings. A performance curve can be generated now. In the performance curve that has been generated is displayed the continuous torque, peak torque at 25 degrees C, peak torque at 100 degrees C, and the power. As the cursor is moved from left to right, we can see how the torques and power change with an increase in velocity. This curve can be saved for comparison. Now the peak current of the drive will be limited to show the effects on the performance curve. In this example, the peak current will be limited to 6 amps RMS. Once the new performance curve has been generated, it will be saved. A comparison can be made between the two curves. The peak torque has been limited by using a lower peak current into the drive. We hope you enjoy using the tool and find it very helpful in your selection of the proper motor for your application.